when another food, great food person, uh, had heard about you and asked you to do something for him, and it now forms the basis for your chapter, on, your wonderful chapter on tomatoes. Yeah. Can you tell us that story? Um, you know, when you're in eastern North Carolina and you don't have a PR company that um, represents your restaurant <laughs> and you're off the beaten path, you have to really um, jump on all these little nuggets of opportunity. And the Southern Foodways Alliance, which is um, an organization that uh, promotes and discusses Southern culture via its food, um, was taking a trip to Eastern North Carolina to study barbecue. And they wanted to have a, a lunch at Chef and the Farmer. And this was probably the most exciting professional news I had had ever. So you drop everything to get ready. Yeah, because not only was like John T. Edge coming to the restaurant, but everyone in this organization is someone who's invested in food. So I would have, you know, 100 uh, foodies and food writers and chefs like as my captive audience and I could determine what they were going to eat. They weren't even going to order from a menu. I was going to feed them what I wanted them to have. And I knew they were coming in June, the end of June, but I'm planning this like in April. And so I, I thought about what I could serve them. I didn't want to serve them meat because they were going to be focusing on meat. So I chose to do a, a vegetarian uh, lunch and I um, chose to, my favorite thing all summer is a tomato sandwich. So I wanted to serve a tomato sandwich but I knew that I couldn't just serve couldn't them put just white bread, yeah, on white them. bread and Duke's mayonnaise and uh, tomatoes, although that would have been good. So I had to really find a way to um, elevate the tomato sandwich even more. Um, and it's hard because I was trying to do it in April and, you know, <laughs> tomatoes are no good in April. So how did you do it? Um, well, I... I focused on the mayonnaise. You can say like some of the <laughs> authors say, read my book. <laughs> but tell us real quickly what you so did. So I focused on the mayonnaise. You know, I love a, a regular tomato sandwich, but I also love a BLT. And But I was really committed to doing a vegetarian um, lunch. So I decided to make my mayonnaise kind of taste like bacon. So I smoked corn. Wow. And I made a smoked corn mayonnaise. So I had this smoky, savory element. Um, and then I um, marinated some Piggly Wiggly tomatoes from April um, in salt and pepper and sugar and just brought out the best. You got around the fact that tomatoes aren't good at that right. time of year. And we happened to be making this sweet potato onion bread at the restaurant um, at the time. And I was in such a rush to try my mayonnaise that I just took some of that bread and put together the sandwich. And it was like, you know angels singing from heaven when I took the first bite. And it turned out that, you know, the, the bread actually was the perfect uh, foil for the tomatoes and the mayonnaise. And I knew right away that I had something really special. <laughs>